Hi, my name is Ian, and this is um, this is just a video version of what has happened to me um, during the whole Comelec check and the latest update so far. Okay, so just a recap, what happened was I checked for my status and my precinct number online on this website. So please check it there, check your status there. So when I checked it, it said no record found. So I'm like, hold on, <laughs> that's not right. I know, I know, I have receipts. I posted about it because I was so excited that it's my daughter's first election. So we did the whole um, accomplish the application online and download it and print three copies and all of that right so we did all of that then when we got to the co local comelec office here in las piñas we lined up we prepared the documents and then they gave us this they gave us this stub now this stub is very important sorry i'm just going to cover this one okay this stub is very important if you kept it good for you if you didn't Lesson learned. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. It's better to be safe than sorry. Mas mabuti nang sabihin na hoarder ako. Okay, hindi naman kailang itago yan, tapon na yan eh, whatever. I would rather keep it and be called names than, you know, panicking later on. So, documents like these, things that you think are not important, are especially in the Philippine setting. Keep them. Okay? Buti na lang tinago ko. But I kept it for sentimental reasons. I kept it because it is my daughter's first election. So, I wanted to keep it. I wanted to have records of it. Because I'm extra like that. Okay. So, we went there. We applied. They gave us this. They pretty much said, you know, all right, let's go do this. We did the whole biometrics thing. We signed digitally thumbprints oh there you go see thumbprints and fingerprints and all of that we did that then they ask you to check the details that they have encoded so there's two monitors there's two monitors one monitor for the dude inside and one monitor for you to check at any given point in time there was no opportunity for me or my daughter to type our names ourselves because it's behind the wall behind the window Okay, so they they will ask you to check. I checked it. I checked everything. Everything was good. No problem. Okay, cool. So when I checked now my status, my daughter's status, and my mom's status on the website. This is it again. That's the website. Okay. Please check first before you panic. Check. Click before you panic. Okay. <laughs> So when we checked it, um, ang nakalabas was no records found for me and my daughter. And then for my mom, it's deactivated. That's a whole different story. So I decided to go to Comelec um, here in Las Piñas, which is located in the city hall. It's at the end of the complex. It's right next to the Hall of Justice. Okay, So you, you won't miss it. It's there. It's right there in the corner. So I went there. I went early. Um, my advice is for you guys to go early just to avoid the crowd. There's no parking in Las Piñas unless you get there early, like 7 a.m., which means you have to wait for an hour and a half at 8.30 when everything opens. So <laughs> parking is a problem. Park at SM Center or park at um, the other places nearby. You know, Union Bank allows sometimes if you're nice to them. If not, Park at SM Center in Alala and then walk. Yes, it's a bit of a walk, but it's more, it's convenient because you're moving. Para lang sa akin. Kesa yung nakihintay ka dun siksikan and everything in the parking there. Okay. Um, so when we got there, 7 a.m., I got there really early. 7.30, sorry. I got there 7.30. Waited for uh, people to come in and talk to the people. So may mga, may mga tao doon na pare-pareho kami ng problema. Yun nga, no records found. Yung isa naman, doble daw. Yung isa naman, um, deactivated din. So anyway, there were a lot of us there. So when we got there, 
I gave my name, they will usually ask for your name. They won't ask for your ID. Name lang, susulat mo siya. So write it down on a piece of paper, give it to them. So they verified it. They said that, oh ma'am, okay na po kayo. Okay na daw po kami. Ako. Meaning, uh, I'm active. Oh, I lost the piece of paper already. But meaning, I'm active. And I'm active and I can vote. Um, but they still could not find my daughter. My daughter daw is missing or not registered. Sabi ko, impossible po kasi magkasunod lang kami. Literally, literally magkasunod lang po kami sa pila. So, impossible po na hindi nyo siya mahanap. Tsaka, first timer po kasi siya. So, kung yung sa akin, mas maintindihan ko. Pero po yung sa anak ko, hindi ko mag -guess. So, anyway, they said, I uh, I should look for the stub daw. Hanapin ko daw tong stub na to para malaman nila yung application number, which is this one. Okay? So that they can find the records. Yes. Nakakainis na nung time na nagre-register kami, sabi hindi na daw kailangan to. Okay? But again, I like to keep stuff. Okay. Anything that you give me that I will deem important later on, I will keep it until it's deemed not usable anymore. Okay? So, paano na lang yung mga taong walang ganito? Yun ang hindi ko masasagot. Kasi, unless you remember your application number, you have kept a record of it online when you were, in, when you were registering in Comelec, I don't know. I am just very lucky that I have this stub. So, I brought this stub to Comelec. Pagdating ko doon, sabi nila, ma'am, nahanap na po namin, wrong spelling po yung pangalan ng anak ninyo. Victor po ako. Okay? Victor. Ayan po yung pangalan na inilagay. Visitor. Visitor. Okay? Yeah. So, typo error nila. Okay. So, okay. Paano na po ito ngayon? So, sabi niya, pwede naman daw bumoto under that name kahit na uh, misspelled siya. Okay? Kasi lalabas naman daw dun sa picture ay eh, yung mukha niya. But again, dahil nga napaka-inconsistent dito sa Pilipinas, hindi natin alam. Kasi sabi ko, madam, paano po paghiningan sila ng ID? Tinanong, uh, ay naku, hindi na nangyayari yun, hindi na hinihingian. Paano nga kung? Dahil hindi natin alam ang sabi ng yaya ko nung nag nagboto siya, bumoto siya nung barangay elections, hiningaan siya ng ID. And I would think that before you vote, I want to know who you are, man. Can you give me your name? Can you give me your ID? But I could be wrong, okay? I have another person for this, si Doc Chane. Doc Chane will also be sharing his his info, his experience. Kasi nag-volunteer siya sa Hong Kong nung nagkakaroon na ng overseas voting, um, early voting. So, nandun siya. So, pwede natin alamin yan. Tatanong natin siya. Antayin natin yung sagot niya. Okay. So, anyway, sabi ko paano yun? Pag hiniyan na ng ID. So, hindi nagko-comply. Iba yung nandun sa system. Iba yung pangalan niya sa ID niya. Baka hindi siya pagbotohin. Sabi, hindi pa pwede po yun, ma'am. Okay. So, again, I trusted them. <laughs> Pinagkatiwalaan ko ang sasabihin nila. So, okay. Pero napaisip ako. Oo nga naman. What if, on election day, pumunta ang daughter ko doon at sinabing, hindi ikaw to kasi yung ID mo, Victor, tapos ito, visitor. So, hindi ikaw to. Kahit na picture niya. Because computer says no, some humans will also say no because computer says no. You know what I mean? So, what I did was, I asked for a voter certification. Okay? Hindi nila daw mapapalitan kasi yung misspelling. They can only change it 120 days after the voting, after the elections. Doon pa lang map map mapapalitan yon. Tapos mag affidavit ka pa. Magre-request ka para palitan yon. That's a whole different reaction video. <laughs> but anyway, what can you do? 
Okay, first thing that you can do is to make sure that you get a voter certification with that misspelling. Okay? With the misspelling, well, kasi lalabas doon yung picture mo, yung resident, all of the details. Okay, so ask for this, all of the details, whether or not it is misspelled. Better if it's misspelled. Make sure you have your official receipt as well. This costs 75 pesos. Request for it and it's 75 pesos. Kung na-verify mo na nga na active ka, pero ikaw ay misspelled ang name mo, get a voter certification. Get Bring that with you when you vote. When you go and vote. So, okay. Recap. Let's recap. Go to this website. Check your status. If it says no records found but you are sure that you registered, you have uh, you, you do have uh, knowledge of you being registered within last year, uh, 2021, or are active ka. Basta pag no records found, okay ka lang. Then you go to your local COMELEC. Don't call them anymore. Don't. It's fine if you can't go and you can just make chaga. I'm going to have to level your expectation. You have to be very, very patient and consistent and stubborn with dialing the numbers because it's always busy. And especially now with the influx of people, na, yun na nga, ang dami-dami ng taong lumalabas na, oh my God, deactivated ako or this ako. Or this. So ang dami-daming tumatawag, ang dami-dami nang pumupunta especially very close to the elections. Um, so please, recap again. Check online. Check this website. Number two, go to your local COMELEC office, okay, in your city or in your town. Kung saan ka nagparehistro locally. Kung, eto ngayon na problema, kung hindi ka nagparehistro locally or kung uuwi ka pa ng probinsya, then that becomes a problem. Yun, kailangan mo siyang tiyagaing tawagan. Kailangan mong tiyagaing tawagan talaga. Okay. You get there, you find out your your name is misspelled or mali yung, mali yung pangalan mo, mali, nadoble yung pangalan or what have you. Then you have to ask them to rectify that. If they can't rectify it, they'll usually say 120 days after election lang pwede i-rectify Pwede ba akong bumoto na gamit to? Dapat, pwede kang bumoto na gamit to. If they say yes, great. Can I have a voter certification? Let me buy a voter certification para madala ko yan, para mapakita ko pag bumoto ko. Don't be discouraged when they say, hindi naman kailangan ng ano, eh, wala naman hinihingi sa inyo, basta pangalan mo lang, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. You have to be GBF. Guiltless, blameless, and faultless. Kung kaya mong gawin, Kung kaya mong gawin now na at pwede naman siyang gawin, wag mo nang ipagpaliban. Do it. Be a responsible citizen and do it. It may be inconvenient now. It may be something that is irritating and inconvenient now. But trust me, a few days of inconvenience is so much better than six years. So, guys, vote for the right person this coming May 9th, okay? Vote for the right person. Please. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Bye!